Hey guys, uh, first of all, apologize for the noise. Uh, neighbors are doing some sort of construction or something out that way. Uh, the main reason for the video is, as you saw earlier, the open all number nine. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with these knives, which I highly doubt it, anybody watching this is not familiar with open owls. They are some of a class bush, uh, bush rack holder. This is the number seven, and this is the number nine. You can see the immense difference in size. Not only the width of the blade, but just length. Even thicknesses. Oh, there we go. Still not as thick as my, uh, Northern Woodsman, but still, it's, the handle is actually about the same length, believe it or not, but, so, yeah, oh. still love it. <laughs> uh, I was able to get this to a razor's edge as well, I mean, it's, it took very little time on my diamond hone to get that sharp again, that sharp where you should be. Alright. I've, again, I sliced through uh, paper, shaved the hair on my arm. No problem. This is the real test. It's, like I said, it's either silver or, or red maple. Oh, look how deep that's cutting. Then again, I actually be caught with my idiot father thought. So. Anywho, it's just cutting like crazy. Uh, well, these do come with a 90 degree spine, which is actually a really good thing. Here, here we go. Trim this off. Yeah, I'll go and trim this bark off so I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. Sorry about that. Uh, one problem I'm having with this open L is that it's so much easier. It's a quite, it's actually quite loose than the, my number not seven. So that's the only real problem I'm having. I'm gonna have to crimp it somehow. But anyway, yeah, because I'm. Uh, there we go. Good. Okay. Let's get the bark off. Nice spot to do what I want to do anyway. Just down here. There you go. So, gotta close it first. Dang it! Got the dropsies today. Young is over there playing around with sticks. And... All right, so. Mind you guys, this is uh, stuff that's been in, not this has not been inside at all. It is very, I mean, it's, it's seasoned, but it's not probably even absolutely bone dry like stuff I, some stuff I have inside the house. Get some more going. That's the only reason why I do like a 90 degree spine on these knives.
But I haven't tried this wood yet, so hopefully this will work. Just a little bit more. Okay, so I got a nice little pile of shavings here. As you guys saw earlier. Uh, got my fair rod. It should work. Yeah, I haven't used the species yet, so I'm not sure. It's just on the same ground. But let's try that. There we go. Hey, she's going. And now she's not. Nope. Oh, she is. It's still, it's not a she gurk. That has a nice 90 degree spine. Not only does it scrape fur extremely well, it scrapes wood very well for it, very fine tenders. I know, I know, corn cheese versions so ain't tender, but. And now she's out. No, it's a lure. So, yeah. Now she's out. There you go. All right, let's get this split a little bit and, oh, yeah, he did burn his ring. Okay. Gonna get the split, so. Not with the open L. So let's move this up a little bit, so. Just go back a little bit further. I mean, you're gonna strike that? I'm gonna split down. So I want you guys to move back a bit, okay? Okay. I know, black and white mosquitoes. They're bad. Now you can find Grace is crashing. Okay, so. Actually, cotton wood. Maybe I'm just mistaken. But not perfect feather sticks, but. Back up. But enough to actually catch. I mean, this would definitely burn. Maybe extra cottonwood.
Yeah, it's all that. Still freaking shaves. Right here. Still shaves. From what I've heard, it's actually supposed to be really low grade. Uh, of the X, I think it's like said X90 carbon steels. But what I'm there doing, it works. I can, I, that's all I can say. Yeah, like I said in the, the uh, unboxing, I initially got this because again, I thought we were going to be able to take to the woods. I need a good folder of decent size if I was going to carry a single blade. And that's what this is. Season size, single blade, of good quality. It's not perfect, but and rather late, but it could be, could be a nice blade. Yeah, it snaps so easily. This is rotten wood. So there you go. These are good one. These are good knives. I pressed, I'm highly impressed. I pressed, I had Honestly, or I wouldn't have gotten a second one. <laughs> you know. For those interested, I did check. I think I may show this on the video. Awesome, but this this does fit in here, but it's extremely tight fit and it's hard to get out. So I'm not. This is just a pocket carry. Um. Don't know the specs, honestly, I don't really care to. It's a great, it really is a great little knife. Well, it's not that little, it's about the size of a buck 110. So, like I said, I may just take down this, this point here, um, make it somewhat more of a drop point. I'll probably, take, I'll probably take about this much off to make it decent. I might even just. Uh, Rework the may probably make a new whole new handle for it. To be honest, don't think I'd do it. Do handle though. Uh, for some reason I think it uh, shoots a heck of a lot better in the shadows. Of the shadowy, shadowiness of the forest. Well, it's not much of a forest, man. It's just a little bit of wood my parents own. Uh, but, yeah, as you, as you guys saw in direct sunlight, it's junk. So, cla many cloudy days, and in the woods, this looks a whole lot better. So. Or I might try to play around with the uh, color correction and post production and see about getting this fixed. Alright, so. 
I might actually get down here and shoot, yeah, take a couple I pictures. Yeah, they brought you know, that camera too. Hey, you of you all three knives. So. Let's talk. Oh. Oh, shoot, come on. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take. I have pictures of every. Take a couple photographs of everything here. Then. Uh, I'll take the photos.